What is up YouTubers, it's Mushroom and we have another unboxing video of some of my favorite stuff. <laughs> this is not Kid Robot, but it's by a similar type of company, I guess, uh, not too sure who the manufacturer is. The manufacturer is Cardboard Spaceship. This is for ages 15 and higher. This is not a toy, this is an adult collectible. The <clears throat> the parent company is CircusPosterous.com. So if you want to check it out, go to this website and there's a bunch of awesome stuff in there. And the artists are um, uh, Kathy Olivius, uh, Brant Peters, and I, I think Shimbo Creative is um, maybe the sculptors. Uh, so <clears throat> let's go ahead and do a case unboxing. And see what we got here. Um, Alright, so <clears throat> as you know, this is a case and it has, uh, let me see, 16 in them. Okay, they are $12 a piece, so they're a little bit more expensive than um, the other cases that I've ever gotten. Usually, the kid robot cases are about um, $9.95, so these are definitely a little bit more pricey, but. <clears throat> Excuse me. They are very cool though, uh, as far as figures. So normally they give you like how many is what and what the limited numbers are. They don't with this. <clears throat> as you can see, they don't give you the ratios like one out of twenty or two out of twenty. Instead, these are all they they don't know. <laughs> There's no uh, idea of what is what. So let me fix our white balance real quick. Okay, so. <laughs> Like I said, there's no ratios given on this. Um, they kind of just, you get what you get. And they don't tell you what's, uh, what comes or how many of what gets what. Which is kind of cool because it's no longer, they take kind of the, the scalper's uh, aspect out of the whole process. And let's see the first one. <clears throat> just so we, we're clear. <clears throat> there are a... I think uh, 11 figures, or how many? 11 figures? I'm not sure exactly, but these are the, f the actual characters, and I know that they did c different color runs, which is how they're doing like the rarities and whatnot. So, this is Ash, that's Maceo, Calliope, Greeter, Dexter, Elizabeth, Heathen, that's a Scully Heathen, that's a Scully Boo, Kuma, Skelv, or Skelv. Yeah, scal I don't know. Ink Slinger, okay? And his hat comes off. So let's see what we got. Right off the bat, and you can see a very cool, big, humongous plastic bag. And what do we have? Ah, cool. We got a black um, Dexter, I think. Yeah, black Dexter. So I don't know how rare that is or not, if it is rare because the one on the box is red so but uh, let's take a look at the figure itself as you could see really cool paint artwork um, the head is does turn it's got a little uh, cap on with a spinner and a tail and these are just like unique weird creatures that are just awesome uh, Brent Peters is, and his wife uh, are amazing artists. And that's that. So let's, let's go to another one. And this one is, oh, cool. This one is Maceo. And this is a different color as well. This is red skulled with a cool little hat, head turns. And, uh, oh, look, the feet are somewhat articulate, too. But, again, don't know how rare it is because of different colors. That's blue, and this one is um, beige with red, uh, red-orange skull. So, let's keep this moving along. Um, so, again, uh, I... I I'm a big fan of these vinyl toys, and that's what these are. They're made out of hard and durable vinyl, so... And they do tend to be a bit more expensive. 
so this one is very very cool it came in an extra plastic bag this is Elizabeth and Elizabeth um, whoops she has a hat too and her hat's also in a plastic bag I'm gonna leave these all wrapped up pre-wrapped because I'm not gonna um, display these for a while and I kind of want to keep them preserved as is but you get an idea of what's up so let's put her there it's kind of cool to to open up this kind of a case because uh, you don't know what you're getting you don't know how rare they are you don't know anything but anything so let's see this one is oh cool I like the fact that so far I haven't got a repeat this is Kuma in black and gray and he's very cool again head spins and everything that's pretty awesome uh, let's see <coughs> so if you are interested in something like this you can check this out at kidrobot.com um, or you can check them out also at uh, circusposterous.com. Okay, so this little guy is a pink heathen, um, skelv heathen, heathen skelv, or maybe I think that's what it is. But as you can see, it's it's really cool. They have like it's these antlers go up on top. Um, he's kind of a snake. A rattler, or not a rattlesnake, but he's a snake, and it's very cool. He's got little bunny ears. It looks like he's wearing pink pajamas. Um, again, like I said, very weird and very cool. Um, some of the coolest, unique little figures I've ever seen, and all from the minds of two artists. So, very, very cool. What is this guy? Oh, cool. This is Skelv. And Skelv is a little guy who is on his belly, and I guess he rolls around on a cart. See, as you can see, he's got a little cart, and the wheels roll. And he sits like that. So that's... <laughs> that's very cool. Um... <coughs> Some of these accessories are just out of this world. So let's keep on going. Um, okay. And I don't know what this one is. It's hard to tell. Really. Ah, so check it out. Now I have the Dexter, but in orange. Oh, I didn't know that. His tail actually goes around too. That's very cool. So we got two of those, but in different colors. So that's unique. All right. Do some uh, location adjustments. I kind of did the whole um, white sheet of paper because um, I wanted these these guys to pop more. It also makes it easier for the camera to focus on uh, on items because if you have too much going on in the background, your camera lens sits there and has to gas, and it's it's annoying. So you put a white background; and it doesn't have anything to, to focus on. In the back, so you're able to see the stuff you're trying to show. Now that's a very cool one here. I do think it's a little low though. Hold on one sec. <clears throat> okay. Now we're back. And this one is called um, Boo. And Boo is blue. Normally he's, I guess, supposed to be white. With a bone-colored skull. This time it's with black eyes. This time it's uh, bay or blue with red eyes, which is very cool. And you can see he's got that kind of that rib cage going on. Pretty awesome. These are turning out to be very, very, very cool. I'm really happy with the, with the figure. Um, I'm going to definitely, definitely, definitely um, get 
at the next series when it comes out. This one is called um, Calliope. Calliope looks like she's supposed to sit on something because, as you can see, her legs are out there. Um, but she's pretty awesome. Very, very cute faces. Great paint jobs. I mean, just art toys. You can't beat them. You know? Gotta tell you, you cannot beat them. Another pack and oh, very cool. So here is another Dexter, but this time this Dexter is the color that it's supposed to be uh, from the packaging. So again, don't know how rare any of these are because they don't tell you. You can't, you, you kind of just have to be happy about the figures. <laughs> um also, I'm going to be doing another unboxing video for the new Kid Robot Marty Ball series. So now you guys are going to be checking that out. We have another uh, Kuma, but this time he is the color that he's supposed to be, yellow. So we'll put him back over here. Or mustard or greenish yellow. And uh, the first one I got was a black Kuma. This one I think is uh, another boo, but this time the boo is actually what he's on the box. White versus blue. So we'll put him over there. So I'm guessing you just get two colors. Uh, one advertised and one not advertised. This heavy one, I know, <coughs> is ink somewhere. Because Inkslinger is the biggest figure in the series. And I got a very cool gray one. Gray one with a uh, brown hat. So as you can see, he's huge. Hat comes off. Put it back on. Um, and he's uh, got tattoos. So he's got a heart with a lightning bolt tentacles and everything he's got a uh, lightning bolt right there he's got triple x on the side he's got a sailor's grave a little dagger with stars an eight ball <laughs> and another uh thunderbolt so very very cool massive figure though um and he's also the heaviest so if you go check out the blind box stuff uh, and you want Ink Slinger specifically, and you go to the Kid Robot store or you go to the store where they have them, just reach for the heaviest box and you'll find the Ink Slinger. Alright, next one up is the Greeter. And Greeter is the color he's supposed to be. He's got a carrot for a nose, I think, or a weird, creepy, long, pointy nose. Alright. Two more boxes left. Let's see what else we got coming in. Alright, this one's a big one too. I don't know what it is, but it is a little big. Oh, cool. So we got another skeleton, um, heathen. Skelly heathen. Skelly heathen, or I, I, if I'm saying it wrong, I'm sorry. <laughs> but, uh, there we go. And our last box. Our last box is... I think this is another, oh no, this is an ash. And there, there, he, she, it is. And ash is a little sit down figure. It's very cool. And there you go. So there you have it. Here, I'll, I'll take ash out. Take him out. So there you go. Um, all 16 figures that I got in my uh, case of unboxing. Okay, and I hope you like what you see. Uh, please leave me any questions down below. Give me a thumbs up. Up. 
and uh, we'll see you at the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. And again, if you want to, uh, if you're interested in getting some of these, I'm sure if you go to circuspustress.com, you'll be able to find uh, these on sale there. Um, they are also available on kidrobot.com and uh, any other art stores that you might know of, any toy art stores. So check them out. Let me know what you find. Leave me questions and comments again down below, and we'll see you at the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.